I wanted to see if I could automate virtual machine deployments. I've set a few rules. No pressure. You and I have gone on quite a journey together. We deployed a lab environment, we figured out the credentials, we started up Orchestrator, we wrote some workflows, we debugged the workflows, we enhanced the workflows, and now we're ready for the glorious finale. Will I succeed at this challenge? Or will I give up, fail the challenge, and subject myself to worldwide ridicule? Let's find out. This time, instead of creating one virtual machine, let's create multiple virtual machines. Now, we're not going to go crazy here and do a ton of machines. We'll just say two. That'll be enough to show whether or not this workflow is working. Let's click Run and observe what happens. Now, when we look at the workflow run, you'll notice that the schema that we see displayed here is flip-flopping between different schemas. What's happening is we have one workflow calling another workflow calling a third workflow. So again, as you continue watching this here, you'll see the schema flip-flopping. Uh, while we're waiting, why don't we go over to the vSphere client and notice in the vSphere client that we have one, two virtual machines that have been created. We have succeeded to create two virtual machines. And not only have we created two virtual machines, we could use this workflow to create multiple virtual machines. And furthermore, we have done so meeting all of the rules that I set out for myself in this challenge. So there you have it. We succeeded. We conquered the challenge. Now, before you go, remember I promised you some bonus content. What I'll be showing you is how to create what are known as custom input forms. These are not only going to make your workflows look prettier, they're also going to protect you against the bogus data that users want to enter when they run your workflow. So join me in the next video and let's learn about custom input forms.